Hi, this is Amy from My Success Vault, and welcome to the first video in our Business Basics series. I've been receiving a few questions lately from people who are a bit confused about the whole niche thing and how to choose a niche. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to start the series off with a beginner's guide to choosing a niche. So let's start by looking at what a niche actually is. And a niche is really just a smaller specialised area of business within a broader group. It's really just a fancy way of describing your specific area of expertise. So let's look at an example of a broad group of dogs. So let's just say that you love dogs, greyhounds in particular, and you know everything there is to know about them. You breed great greyhounds and you have built a business dedicated to the breeding of greyhounds. So your niche would be greyhound breeding. And when choosing a niche, it's really important that you are specific, as specific as possible. I also wanted to touch on the importance of passion. There are some people who advise newcomers to the online business world that passion isn't important when choosing your niche. What's important is profit chasing. And I really don't agree with this. I think that passion is really important. And I'll tell you why. If you love your topic, you won't give up as easily as you would if you really don't like what you're doing. You'll find it much easier to write content on something that you really like doing. Your passion and knowledge will come through your writing. So just because you're on the internet or and you're writing articles doesn't mean that people won't know that you're not really excited about what you're writing because they will. If you don't love it, others won't love it either. And your job is to make others really like what you're offering so that they'll buy from you. Passion is inspiring. So keep it simple. Learn now, chase the profits later. So let's get on to the system that I use in choosing a niche. So the first thing that we want to do is build a list and included in this list should be all of the things that you love, the things that you enjoy doing, the things that you know a lot about, the things that you don't necessarily know a lot about but things that you want to know about and of course the things that you are passionate about. It's important when you're doing this not to think too much about it and just to write whatever comes into your head. Now this part of the process should take you no longer than five minutes. This is an example list that I put together just to demonstrate what your list may look like. Now it's made up of a whole variety of different things and your list may have less items on it or it may have more, but it's not really amount, about the amount of topics included on it. What's important is that you include everything that you're interested in. The next thing we need to do is sort the list out because it's really too big for our needs. So we do this in a couple of ways. We make a first pass run and in that first pass we want to tick all the topics that we already know about. So go through the list, pick out the topics that you already know a fair bit about and place a tick beside them. The next step is to cross place a cross beside any any topics that you don't know anything about. On our second pass, we only want to be concerned with those topics that we have placed a cross next to. Think really hard about those topics and ask yourself if you can see yourself learning everything that there is to know about that topic over the rest of your life. So can you spend the rest of your life learning everything there is to know about that topic? And if the answer is no, strike it out completely. 
Here's an example of the list that we had earlier after the sorting process. So as you can see, there's items that have been ticked and there's our items that have been crossed and then completely struck out. You may end up with items with a cross without being completely struck out. And that's, you know, what we do with those is really for a more advanced lesson. So in this lesson, we only really want to be concerned with the items that we've placed a tick beside. So now we need to focus on those ticks. And the reason that we want to do that is because it's out of those ticked topics that we will find our niche. But we need to narrow that list even further because it's just too large. And the way that we do that is by using subheadings. Now, as you can see here, we've written a few subheadings under our major, our main title topics. And the reason that we do this is so that we can really understand how much we already know about those those subjects. So I'd like you to spend no more than two minutes on each topic and write out the things that you would be able to write content on or that you already have knowledge on that you can impart to other people. So for instance, for the healthy eating, we've got weight loss and seasonal produce. For writing, we've got journals, blogging and articles. And those are the things that we can let other people know about and we can write content to do with those things. You may come up with a whole lot of things and that's great. So whatever you come up with the most of is going to be your niche. So like I said, your niche will be the topic with the most subheadings. And this is really just one way to choose a niche, but I've always found this to be the best way for me and the easiest way. You can add other tools to enhance these steps. So you could add keyword, keyword research and a whole raft of other things, but that's for a more advanced lesson and, and I will get into those in another video. So thanks for watching and if you'd like to learn more about starting an online business, please visit us at mysuccessbolt.net or .com and why not join us? We've got free membership available for everybody who'd like to see more. For our members on the website, we do have some templates and checklists to go with this video, so please check those out. And our next video in this series will be on how to choose a web host. I look forward to sharing that information with you. This is Amy and I will see you next time.